Hi, welcome back to the Frugal Homestead. I'm Missy and today I'm going to show you how I make my keto meatloaf. We're going to start out with five pounds of ground beef. I'm just going to get this worked up here a little bit and break it up some. Tony's left this out of the fridge for a few minutes, probably about an hour or so, just so that it's not super hard from being in the fridge so it's easier to mix. There we go. My first ingredient I'm going to add is about a half a cup of green tomato salsa. If you don't know how to make green tomato salsa, make sure you watch our video on it. This is an excellent recipe. Gives it just a little bit of spice and it gives it a little bit of something different. My second ingredient is a half a cup of warm water. That'll help it just to mix up well and to mold the way I want it to mold. I'm going to put two eggs in. Now this is going to make a pretty good sized batch, so if you have a big family it's great. But if you are like us, it's just two of us, we will make these in smaller loaves and then we'll freeze part of them. One cup of coconut flour. A sprinkle of mozzarella cheese. It's up to you how much you put in. But I wouldn't put too much in because if you do, then it strings out and stuff and it's just not the same. that. I'm going to put garlic powder in. And I just do this liberally because we love garlic powder or garlic in general. So you kind of got to just go with whatever your taste is. Regular black pepper. Probably put about two tablespoons in here for this big of a batch. And we do the pink Himalayan salt. And I probably do about two teaspoons of it. We're just going to start mixing it up. Make sure we get our eggs mixed through there really well. Now since I put my salsa in, it has onions and green peppers in it. So I don't add additional onions and green peppers. But this way they're already in the salsa and it's already cooked. So it mixes in really well. A friend of mine taught me how to do that a few years back and I thought well that's a smart idea just to add salsa because you know then you ain't got all that chopping of the onions and green peppers to put in it. I already smell that garlic. I love garlic. And I like to think this is a pretty easy recipe for meatloaf. There we go. Alright, let's get this panned up. Okay. So you can make this in one big loaf if you want. Or you can make it more for individual size servings. So... We usually make ours in more individual size servings. Tony put parchment paper on my cookie sheets, makes it much easier for cleanup. And then we'll just make these into like little loaves. They'll cook a little bit faster this way. And it makes it kind of nice because then for servings, you can just take them out and put one on each plate and you ain't got to cut it or anything. But you can do it however it works for you. 
So when I put away all my other stuff, I started preheating my oven to 350 degrees. And we're gonna have these in the oven for approximately an hour. And then we're gonna take them out, put our ketchup on it, and put them back in the oven for approximately another 15 minutes. That gives the ketchup some time to caramelize on the top. Now we do use the low sugar ketchup, but we plan to start learning how to make our own homemade ketchup next year and not put any sugar in it. There is some ketchups out there now that don't have sugar, but we occasionally get those, but they're really not super cost effective for us. I make some of these a little bit bigger for Tony. I make some of them a little bit smaller. Or it's like cookies, they never get the same size. But I would guess with 10 pounds, you can probably get enough for at least 10 or 12 loaves. So if you have company coming over or whatever, this recipe should do either a large family or for you to have company. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these made up, put them in the oven, and then we'll bring you back when I get ready to put the ketchup on. Okay. So these have been in the oven for approximately 50 minutes to an hour. I just put plain ketchup on them. I don't add any brown sugar or any of that crap that a lot of people do. So we're just going to put just a little bit on each top of each one. I use a spoon so I can move it around some. That way it seems like you have more than what you have. Remember these are already pretty much done. They just need to go in long enough for the ketchup to caramelize a little bit on the top of them. If you didn't put the ketchup on them, these would be nice little um, lunches that you could take with you somewhere if you didn't have a place to heat them up or anything, just eat them cold. there we have it we're gonna put them back in the oven for I would say 10 to 15 more minutes for whenever we get them out I'll show you what they look like and I'll show you the finished product all right so there you have it they're all done it took approximately another five to seven minutes for my ketchup to set up on there um, that's our meatloaf recipe we hope you've enjoyed it I think I'm going to get some of these taken into my taste tester because if I don't, he's going to walk behind me in a few minutes and be taking them off of the rack over there, the ones that are left. So I just try and share with him to begin with. If you guys are new to the channel, think about considering subscribing and make sure for sure you hit that notification button down there. That way you can see all of our upcoming recipes, homestead vlogs, whatever. Whatever we got going on, you'll get to see it. Thanks for joining me today here at the Frugal Homestead. I'll see you in the next one.